Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In continuation with the previous video, we discussed the standardization of 1 molar, 0.1 molar, 1 normal and 0.1 normal oxalic acid against a solution of sodium hydroxide. The apparatus and chemicals required for the standardization of oxalic acid are listed in the tables given here. Apparatus include 50 ml burette, 10 ml pipette, 100 ml conical flask, 100 ml measuring flask, funnel, burette stand and white glazed tile. And chemicals include oxalic acid crystals, sodium hydroxide pellets, phenophthalene indicator and distilled water. In the standardization of oxalic acid, we need to prepare two standard solutions. The first one is 1 molar oxalic acid solution. The molecular mass of oxalic acid is 126. Hence, for preparing 1000 ml of 1 molar oxalic acid, weight of oxalic acid crystals required are 126 grams. Therefore, for preparing 250 ml of 1 molar solution, the molecular mass of oxalic acid 126 divided by 1000 ml of solution multiplied by 250 ml as required to prepare the solution and the concentration of the solution that is 1 to give 31.50 grams. The second solution is 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. The molecular mass of sodium hydroxide is 40. Hence, for preparing 1000 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide, weight of NaOH crystals required are 40 grams. Therefore, for preparing 250 ml of 1 molar solution, the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide 40 divided by 1000 ml of solution multiplied by 250 ml as required to prepare the solution and the concentration of the solution that is 1 is equal to 10 grams. The principle involved is alkalimetry type of titration. When a strong base is treated with a weak acid, the salt produced in the reaction is not completely hydrolyzed and the pH of the resultant solution at the end point is exactly 7. Oxalic acid, which is a weak acid that is standardized by the titration with a strong base such as sodium hydroxide. The following reaction takes place when sodium hydroxide is treated with oxalic acid. In this titration, for detecting the end point, phenophthalene solution is used as an indicator. The concentration of unknown solution is calculated in grams per liter. Procedure for standardization Clean the burette thoroughly, wash it with distilled water and finally rinse it with oxalic acid solution. Always rinse the burette with the solution which is to be taken in it. Clamp the burette vertically in a burette stand. Fill oxalic acid solution into the burette through a funnel above the zero mark. Remove the air gap from the nozzle of the burette by running the solution forcefully from the burette nozzle. Remove the funnel before noting initial reading of the burette. Also, while noting the reading, see that no drop of the liquid is hanging at the nozzle of the burette. Note the initial reading by keeping the eye exactly at the same level as the meniscus of the solution. Pipette out 10 ml of 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution in a washed and dried conical flask. Always wash the pipette with water and rinse with the liquid to be measured before pipetting out the liquid. Add 1 to 2 drops of the phenophthalene indicator to the conical flask. Place the flask over the glazed tile as shown in the figure. Titrate the base with oxalic acid solution till a very faint permanent pink color is obtained. Add sodium hydroxide solution in small amount initially and then drop wise. Read the lower meniscus of the solution in the burette again and record it as a final reading. Repeat the procedure until three concordant readings are obtained. Record your readings as in the table. The experiment has to be done in triplicate, therefore the serial numbers 1, 2 and 3. In the second column, the volume of the oxalic acid solution taken in the conical flask has to be written each time in milliliters. In the third column, the burette initial and final readings have to be mentioned. In the fourth column, the volume of the sodium hydroxide solution consumed or used to complete the reaction is to be written. This can be calculated by subtracting X from Y that is the final burette reading minus initial burette reading. And in the last column, the concordant or consistent reading in milliliters has to be written.
Molarity of the oxalic acid solution can be calculated by using the formula M1V1 is equal to M2V2 where M1 is the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution that is 1 molar V1 is the volume of the 1 molar sodium hydroxide solution that is 10 ml V2 is the volume of the oxalic acid used in the titration and M2 is the molarity of oxalic acid that can be calculated Therefore, M2 is equal to M1V1 by V2. Calculate the concentration of oxalic acid solution in grams per liter by using the equation given. Concentration that is strength in gram per liter is equal to molarity of the molar mass. We have so far learnt the standardization of 1 molar oxalic acid. The same apparatus and chemicals are employed for the standardization of 0.1 molar, 1 normal and 0.1 normal oxalic acid except in the quantity required for the preparation of oxalic acid and sodium hydroxide solutions. Use the quantities accordingly as mentioned in the table for the respective concentrations of the solutions. The principle and procedure followed is also same with all titrations. Further, in the calculation of normality, the formula N1V1 is equal to N2V2 is used and the method of calculation is the same as per the calculation of molarity. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the preparation and standardization of various concentrations of oxalic acid. In the next lesson, we will discuss the preparation and standardization of sodium hydroxide solution. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.